My people, the furniture catalog allows you free access to nearly every furniture piece directly from your own home. For 200,000 gold, your decorative world is vastly opened, but there's still plenty of items that you can't get in this way. Today, we're gonna talk about what those items are as well as how to get them. So if you're looking to spice up your farm, you've come to the right place. Also guys, less than 6% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So ask yourself right now, do I like this guy? And if you do, hit subscribe. I also stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez and I would love to have you guys there. This is part two to the video I did a few weeks ago showing you the locations of all the secret statues and collectibles. And so between the furniture catalog, the last video, and this one, you should have access to every furniture piece in the game. The furniture catalog is purchased from Robin for 200,000, but there's also the regular catalog, which is purchased from Pierre for 30,000. And that gives you access to all the different wallpapers and floors for free. For 2000 gold, Robin will sell you the new telephone, which can be used to call people all around town to check their store inventories and more. After you complete the special order request Robin's project in which you collect 80 hardwood for her, Robin will sell you the deluxe red double bed for 6,000 gold. Willie will sell you a bed of his own, the Fisher double bed, for 25,000. Marnie will sell you ornamental hay bales for 250 gold apiece, and the dwarf will sell you stone cairns for 200. Probus will sell you a monster fireplace for 20,000 gold, and he'll also sell you the sign of the vessel for 350. I thought that the sign of the vessel was just a decorative piece, but if you actually put one on a fish pond, it will show you what fish are in it and how many of them there are. The Desert Trader now sells the birch double bed for one pearl, and he sells the butterfly hutch for 200 bat wings. When you put the butterfly hutch in your house, little butterflies fly around. The Island Trader is unlocked for 10 golden walnuts after purchasing the island farm. Every day he will sell you jungle torches for 5 cinder shards apiece, the wild double bed for 100 cinder shards, and the tropical TV for 30 tarot roots. On Tuesdays he'll sell you the palm wall ornament for 1 pineapple, and on Thursdays he'll sell you the volcanic photo for 5 mangoes. On any even number day you can pick up the tropical chair for 1 lionfish. Also on Ginger Island is Key's Walnut Room where you can get an aquatic sanctuary for 20 key gems or the exotic double bed for 50 key gems. If you don't know what key gems are or how to get them, you should watch this video. If you remember from the last video, the crane game is found inside the movie theater and has prizes that rotate depending on the season and what's currently in the theater. Year round, you can pick up the deluxe tree and the exotic tree, which are hidden in plain sight along the back. In the spring, you can get the indoor hanging basket, in the fall, you can get the small and regular wall pumpkin, and in the winter, you can get the winter tree decal. Every movie has its own poster that can only be obtained while its movie is playing. The theater runs on a two-year cycle, starting with the year that you unlock it, and there are eight posters in total, so I think it's pretty impressive if you manage to collect all eight. While Journey of the Prairie King is playing, you can also get the long cactus and the long palm. There's a lot of uniques for you to collect at the different festivals throughout the year. At the Egg Festival, you can get the Lawn Flamingo for 400 or the Plush Bunny for 2,000, both of which you can actually also win from the Crane game during the spring. At this event, you can also pick up the Pastel Banner for 1,000 gold. The Dance of the Moonlight Jellies gives you a chance to buy two variants of the Cloud Decals for 1,200 or the Moonlight Jellies Banner for 800. Dried Sunflowers can be bought for 100 Star Tokens at the Stardew Valley Fair, or you can win them yourself from the Crane game in the fall. You can get the Icy Banner for 800 gold at the Festival of Ice or the Winter Banner for 1,000 at the Feast of the Winter Star. The Night Market has its own entire hall of items too. At the Decoration Boat you can get the Big Green Cane, the Big Red Cane, Green Canes, Red Canes, or Mixed Canes, all for 200 gold apiece or you can win them from the claw machine in the winter. Seasonal decor can be purchased here for 500 gold, or at the flower dance for 350, or you can get it from the crane game in the spring. There's also six varieties of the seasonal plants, which can be bought for 500 at the night market or from these other sources. On any day at the magic shop boat, you can get an iridium fireplace for 15,000 gold, or on the 15th of winter, you can get the gravestone for 200. You can also get the gravestone for 350 at the Spirits Eve festival or from the crane game in the fall. Famous painter Lupini has nine different paintings that you can buy from him. Each day of the night market, he will offer a different painting which repeats on a three-year cycle. Since you've only got one chance every three years to buy these paintings, if there's one that you want to get, you better get it while you can. From left to right, the paintings featured here are called 1000 Years From Now, Clouds, Land of Clay, Portrait of a Mermaid, Red Eagle, Solar Kingdom, The Serpent, Three Trees, and Tropical Fish 173. There's also a few items you can only get from fishing in a certain spot, like the foliage print. To get it, go to the north of the island through this secret path and fish through the trees into this river to the west. The painting Vista can only be obtained by fishing in the pond outside of the spa, and Physics 101 has a chance to be caught when fishing in the lava at the top of the volcano. The pyramid decal is a little tricky as it's tough to reach the pool of water in the southern part of the desert where this piece is. You need to either stand here with a high fishing level, or stand here and curve your cast by trying to walk to the right. The lifesaver can be found by fishing in the back room of Willie's shop, and the wall basket can be found by fishing in the secret woods. Finally, the painting boat can only be obtained if you're playing on the beach farm, and you get it by fishing along this secret path. There's there's a few items that you can only get from heart events with the villagers. When you reach six hearts with Leah, she'll give you a sculpture called How I Feel About and then your name. At 14 hearts, you'll have the opportunity to create this uh, masterpiece. 
At 14 hearts, Sam gives you his boombox, which actually plays music. And at 14 hearts with Penny, she asks if you'd like her to redecorate the bedroom. If you choose the forest and moon theme, you'll get the night sky decals. If you choose the pirates theme, you'll get the pirate flag and rug. And if you choose the strawberry theme, you'll get the strawberry decal and the fruit salad rug. There's a few other miscellaneous items like the tea set that can be given to you on the Feast of the Winter Star, or there's the coffee maker which Evelyn will send you in the mail after you collect 12 leaks to complete the special order gifts for George. And the sewing machine is obtained from Emily after you bring her some gems for the Rock Rejuvenation Special Order. There's also all of the items that you get from the museum, but I figured a lot of you guys already knew about those items, so I'll just show them here. But if you want to know how to get them, check out the link in the description. That's all I've got for you guys, but I wanted to let you know that I'll be uploading a different style of video on Tuesday. Don't worry, it won't interrupt the normal flow of our videos, but it is a little longer, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If this video was helpful, leaving a like helps it do a lot better on YouTube, and subscribing goes a long way, or I stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez. Our community also hangs out on Discord when I'm not streaming, so if you're interested, check out the links in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.